everyone. So I'm going to do my Sips by unboxing for November. I got this a few days ago and my days kind of went all over the place. So <laughs> I'm just going to do it now because there's actually one tea I've been really wanting to drink, but I wanted to do some unboxing. So I've been holding that off. So this little card for the month. Let's just grab and go. Ooh, this is the one that I want. I've been loving Earl Grey, as I probably said in the last video. And I'm very interested in this one for the fact that it's blending two of my favorite things, apparently, which is chocolate and Earl Grey. So this is chocolate Earl Grey. I will tell you now, the bag is a little annoying, but I got it. Best Buy, December 25th, 2020. Let's go. Probably going to finish that before this December 25th. So come, this one comes in a little bag here and I have so many of these bags now because I get like crystals and stuff. Oh, that is interesting. Okay. This is what it is. So you're supposed to drop this into eight to 12 ounces of water. There are three of them. There are three of them in the bag. They're just compressed tea. Doesn't say to put a strainer or anything. So I'll try it and let you know how that works because I have never had tea like that. Can't smell it through the bag. Yeah, there's this little like, I don't know, it looks like compressed tea. Um, I got more little baggies. They send this, I believe, every month. And what is this one? Persian chai. Actually, I'm almost done with one of my chai, so I'm actually very excited about this as well. Okay, let me go back a little bit. This is high caffeine, and this is high caffeine, which I don't know if I'm going to have a problem with because I mentioned before I'm trying to not... I think one video I said I was trying not to, and then another video I said I was slowly bringing it in. So I just have to know that this, honestly, these will only happen during the day. And what I've been doing is I've been drinking water before and after. I have something with caffeine in it. So this chai is high caffeine and so is this Earl Grey. I have Earl Grey that's also decaf when I want to like double up or if I want to drink at night. So now we have something that's caffeine free and organic lavender Tulsi. It is, it smells a little bit, but not much because it's pretty sealed in there. It's just literally Tulsi and lavender is all it is. So this might be really good, like little night ritual of calming down. I normally actually like decaf chais for that, but you could try lavender. Got four packs of the lavender one. So I have at least four nights I get to use this. And then the last, ooh, if you like horchata, get excited with me. This is vanilla horchata, caffeine free. And it's a loose leaf, so it means I get a few out of this. It's one teaspoon per eight ounces of water. I kind of want to open this and smell it. Oh, okay. When I open this, I'm going to have to put this in another bag. So once you open, it's not a, it's not a zipper case. If you see that, once you open it, it's like opened. So I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to, where I'm going to put that. Great. I think that's it for the tea though. This is about the tea drops, which are these. Eight to 12 ounces of boiling water. You drop it. Careful. Don't like spill it all on you. And yeah. That's cute. So the person who created this, one day Sashi wanted tea without the bag. So she created Tea Magic. I'm actually very interested in this company now because, I mean, here's a problem. It still comes with plastic, but I mean, there's no bag. I don't know. How do you feel about this? It still comes with plastic and if you don't have a problem with plastic, sure. But like, if they're offering in this, a lot of tea bags are biodegradable. I don't know how to feel about this. I honestly don't. I wonder if they come in a different package if you don't get like a trial size, which is basically what I got. Hey, it's Christy. I'm editing this right now and I actually did a little search and on their website, it does show that they have new packaging. It's recyclable branded single serving packaging and also a recyclable cylinder. So that should clear that up, I think. And then Stash is the other one I got, which is this. And they gave a little card and a discount code. And I believe that is it. So I know this was a very quick video. Um, I really have nothing else to say. What I could do actually is make the Earl Grey tea. Let's do that actually. I have my hot water. And 
and then I'll drop it in. Taking it out of the pack, I'm gonna actually kind of dump in all the crumbs in there because <laughs> it's gonna end up all over my desk. Let's wait a few minutes and I'll come back. Popping in, it's still steeping, but um, it said to look at the pack for directions and I do not see how long to do this. I know the Earl Grey that I've used before is three to five minutes. So I'm gonna check it at the three minute mark. And if it's still not done, I'll check it at the five minute mark. So I did shake it a little bit. This is the three minute mark. And it's kind of just settling at the bottom. It's almost gone. There's still a little amount of something in there. You can't really see it. That's hot. Let's not do that. I have a spoon. Because I have a feeling we're just going to need a spoon. So just stir a little bit. This is what it looks like now. After I stirred it. Sorry. It still has kind of stuff in it. So I'm going to continue to stir it. Update. So apparently, um, the directions that I didn't really see in the box at all, um, was to drop one in the water, use a spoon to mix it for five or 10 seconds and let the tea sit and dissolve for 30 seconds. And that there will still be some sediment at the bottom, but it's drinkable. Okay. Well, it's been sitting here forever because I didn't know that. So let's just try it. So I'm going to try it without, I normally drink Earl Grey with a creamer and sweetener, but this had, I think, sugar in it. So let's try it without that. So this is without anything added. It's pretty interesting. Literally, it tastes like slightly, slightly, slightly sweetened chocolate Earl Grey. So now I'm going to add, since it does have sweetener, I might not add my own sweetener, but I am going to add my creamer. How much creamer do you prefer? Do you like a dash? Do you not like creamer? Do you like a lot? <laughs> I'm probably on the medium to a lot side. So now this is what it looks like. That's really good. May, may or may not have burned my tongue, but that's really good. I don't know. I like it. I feel like I still need to see I'm a very sweet, very sweet person, but I actually like adding sweetener to like everything. I think it needs a little bit. So I use a liquid sweetener. I'm just gonna pump a few. And I have different ones. I have hazelnut, vanilla, caramel. I mostly go for vanilla and hazelnut. Caramel is more for if Jason wants like hot chocolate with caramel in it. Last go. You see there's still some sediment in it, but they say it's where the nutrients are, so drink up, I guess. That's good. That's real good. I like that. I'm gonna drink this probably pretty slow. I might have to put it in the microwave again. The problem, not the problem, the problem I have, not the problem with the tea, but the problem I have with high caffeinated teas is that I have to drink it over a longer period of time. So I can't just like down all this. If it was a decaf one, I will probably down it in like 20 minutes, if not five, especially if I make it real good that day. However, this is a high caffeinated tea. I'm gonna do little, little baby sips and then it's gonna get cold. And I'm gonna have to heat it up again. So, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and let me know what kind of tea you like, what kind of creamer you like. Let me know what you like.